Yes, everyone, thanks for tuning in to another video. So before I get into it, I'd just like to say as always, if you're feeling the content or you get any value from the video, please like, subscribe, share your thoughts down below. As always, as I always say, I really like to engage with people who are watching the videos. So in the video today, I'm just gonna be talking about the reason why I decided against taking medication when I was diagnosed with bipolar cyclothymia. Now, just because I decided against it doesn't mean that you should. But one thing that I've concluded is that I feel medication is getting dished out more than it should. You know, for example, I think something like 17% of adults in the UK are on some sort of uh, antidepressant. And to me, those numbers just don't make sense. I believe that people are suffering from mental health issues due to um, choices or lifestyle choices, rather than actually having a chemical imbalance in their brain. Now I've decided, even though well, I've decided against taking medication, I still get dips and downs. Uh, they're much more manageable, but I've also spoken to people who take medication and some people have said it's changed their life, but some people said it's made absolutely no difference and in some cases even worse, which obviously we don't want. So the reasons I decided against medication is first of all, I'd had experience taking fluoxetine, which is an SSRI and I, take, I took it on two occasions. The first occasion it was great and then the second occasion it really wasn't. And I just, I started to feel really brain dead. So because of having that experience with, the, with fluoxetine, that sort of made me very anti-medication. And to be honest with you, I'm anti-putting anything in my body unless I really, really, really have to. Even if it's antibiotics or something similar. So when I was diagnosed, the psychiatrist that I saw recommended that I take Lamotrigine, or I think it's also known as Lamictal. So apparently, this is quite a sort of safe, you might say, uh, I, can't, I think it was a mood, I think it's a mood stabiliser. But the chance, there's a possibility that you can have some very, very extreme side effects, such as your skin melting. Now, as soon as I heard that, I was like, whoa, I'm not really feeling this. And but also when I got diagnosed by the psychiatrist, he said, look, we might have to try a few different things. We might have to try this, but then this won't work. And then we'll have to try this. And I just thought, you know, I don't want to be taking a medication. And the next thing you know, you're taking a medication. Let's say you take a medication and it's working, but it's making you feel kind of tired. And then you've got to take another medication to stop you feeling tired. And next thing you know, you're taking like three or four different things. And I'm just really not about that. As I've talked about in my other videos, I'm a yoga instructor and I'm very into sort of holistic health and making the correct choices in order to sort of give your brain some sort of, sort of stability, such as diet, mindfulness practices like meditation, exercising regularly, getting outside. These are just a few of the tools that I use. And I just decided that I didn't want to try medication at that point. Now, I, I did do the carnivore diet and that helped massively. And before I did the carnivore diet, I thought to myself, if that doesn't work or have any positive impact, then I'm gonna have to do the medication. But thankfully it did work. Mm -hmm. And since I got diagnosed, which was almost a year ago now, I've definitely been learned how to cope better and I've got lots more tools in my toolkit. So that was just my personal reason of why I didn't wanna take medication. Now I'm not saying you shouldn't take medication, but what I believe everyone should consider is before you do go down that route, really ask yourself if you're making healthy lifestyle choices because you know, people sit there and say they're depressed, but they're sitting inside all day, watching TV, eating and drinking shit, not exercising, and then wondering why they're not feeling good. And to me, that's just stupid. In my case, I was doing everything I could in order to feel good, such as exercising, eating right, etc., etc., and my mood still wasn't shifting. And that's why I went and saw a psychiatrist. But after making the decision to not take medication and try other avenues, I'm very, very happy with my decision. 
So I hope that's shed some light on uh, your thoughts if you're sort of going through that process as well. Now, just because I didn't take medication doesn't mean that you shouldn't. But before you do research what you're taking, because what these medications do essentially is alter your brain chemistry and the thing is is from my perspective once a, a medication is altering you know how you think and how you feel you're almost not in control and i don't like the idea of that personally but that's just me anyway if you found that video helpful or useful or you'd like to share some thoughts please do i'll see you in the next video have a fantastic day Peace.